When you're doing screen simulations in Articulate Storyline, you can turn them into interactive practices where the student gets to try out the procedure for themselves. Sometimes that will include a typing slide. And so if the procedure involves typing, what will happen is Storyline will convert that into a text entry box. And so the student would click into the text entry box, type the text they're supposed to type, and click the Submit button. So the way Storyline handles this is it turns any typing that you do while you're capturing into a free form text entry slide that counts as a quiz question just like a fill in the blank. And that's all done automatically. However, sometimes Storyline doesn't capture that typing and doesn't know then to convert it into a text entry slide for the student. A common situation uh, where this might happen would be if you're in a very locked down IT environment and your computer might have software on it that prevents anything from capturing your keystrokes. So that includes Storyline. And so if Storyline can't capture your keystrokes, it doesn't know to turn this into a text entry box. So let's take a look at what you can do if Storyline doesn't automatically create this text entry box for you. You can manually create it yourself. So here I have another version of the same practice where the first slide is not converted automatically into a text entry field for the student. The first slide is just blank and then if they go on to the second slide the text is already there. So Storyline did not convert my typing into a text entry slide. So here's what you do. First you need a slide to work on. Now in this particular case I can work with this slide. You want a slide that shows the before uh, view of the typing activity. So this is what it looks like before they type and then from there this is the second step. So here Storyline did give me that slide and I can work with it but sometimes you don't even get that. So I'm going to delete this and act like you didn't get that. So let me delete that slide. So let's say that wherever it was you didn't get a kind of a placeholder slide where you can convert it. So what you do is you take the step either before or after and make a duplicate of that slide. So now this is what's going to become step two, and then this is the version that I will convert to the text entry. So the first thing you have to do is delete everything about the, this step. So I'll delete the hotspot. Um, I can save the caption because I'll need a caption. I'll just have to change the typing. I don't want the screen recording. Um, I want to uh, remove these um, layers. I'll get new layers later. So let me delete those. Yes, there we go, and get rid of the triggers. So basically I just want a plain slide with no triggers, no actions, no layers. Now notice over here I've just lost the rest of my slides. That's okay, we'll get them back. So that's going to be my starting slide. However, it already says, if we zoom in, uh, submit quarterly report. So I could do a couple of things. I could cover that up with a white box. In this case that might be the easier thing to do, but sometimes that's, that doesn't work. There could be several things that are involved. So what you can do is go into action fine tuning and pick a different frame for this. So Storyline keeps the whole movie behind the scenes and I can go pick a different screenshot from the movie. So I do that by clicking, uh, right clicking and going to action fine tuning. In this case I do not want to show any animation and what I want to do now is pick a different frame. I can do that by clicking previous or next or you see how this little line is moving when I do that is I can just click and drag it to where I want the starting point of this uh, step to be and that is blank box. So then I click OK and now my slide is going to show this frame instead of that other frame. So what I've set up is my before. Now what I want to do is manually turn this into a text entry slide. And I do that on the insert tab. On the insert tab we have an option here called convert to freeform. That converts it to a freeform question and one of my options is a text entry slide. Click OK and this adds the fill in the blank logic for me. So I'll type in what they're supposed to type, submit quarterly report, I have to make sure I spell it right, and then I'll go to slide view. I now have to format this in a way that uh, looks convincing, so I'll need to move it to the right place. Let me uh, zoom in here. I need to convert it to the right place. 
I need to fix the font, I need to fix the fill, so let me do that. So now I have the text entry box formatted to match what the system looks like. I'll also want to remove the default text. So now if I preview the slide, we can see that it adds a text entry box for the student and they can type in submit quarterly report and click submit. Typically I don't include correct feedback when I'm doing a system simulation practice. When you first insert a recording in try mode, you can just check a box to disable the correct feedback. But when you add text entry slides manually, there's a question setting to turn off all feedback, but not a quick way to turn off just the correct feedback. So there's a couple of ways you can get rid of the correct layer. This is how I typically do it, is I'll go into the correct layer, let me zoom out a little bit, and I'll change, um, I'll delete the elements I can but I still have the elements that belong to the Feedback Master. So I can't remove them here on the slide. So all you need to do is apply the blank Feedback Master to get rid of them. So now there's nothing that they can see, but you do have to have a way for them to move on. Typically there's that Continue button. So all I need to do is add a trigger that says jump to the next slide when the timeline starts for this layer. So I'll put my caption here the way I want it. And now that I have my caption, I'm ready to go. Let's preview the scene and see how it looks. So here I have my box. I'm going to type submit quarterly report. I click submit and I'm able to move on with the practice.